Oh, that's how I'm opening the show, huh? Yeah, apparently. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Off to a great you okay, start. Right, dude? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome oh. to the Great Tuesday Rumble. Indeed. It's Tuesday. Yes, it is Tuesday. <laughs> you, you Contrary know. to popular belief, it is not Wednesday. I know, right? You know what's funny, actually? Um, th There's actually a running joke between me and my sister. Um, For those of you who play Fantasy Star Online 2, I'm sure you know what this feels like. Like, just imagine it's Tuesday evening and you just want to fire up some PSO2 and play a little bit, right? But then you remember the game kindly reminds you that maintenance is on Tuesday nights. So, like, we log into the game and then we go pick our server. Oh, yeah, it's down for maintenance. Ah, uh, yes. So, th there's, there's a thing that's been ha that me and my sister have been doing where, like, if... We caught one of the other trying to log into PSO2. We'd just be like, it's Tuesday! <laughs> with like all the jazz my, hands and everything. My analogous experience with that is when I play at Japanese arcade games and Japan's maintenance is like in the middle of nowhere, like dead at night. But that over here, it's like in the middle of the day. Yeah, it's like, uh, are you talking about like rhythm games and stuff like that? Yeah, it's rhythm games and stuff, yes. Yeah, it's like one to three or something like that. Yeah, for here, which is like... 2, 2 a.m. over there, I think. Yeah, I where it doesn't matter over yeah. there. But yeah. <laughs> playing <laughs> playing rhythm games at 1 to 3? What do you mean? Yeah, just... You, you mean have a two-hour milk tea break? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, not like it matters because Sound Voltex doesn't have Valkyrie cabs anymore. Or we're still oh, waiting okay. on them, rather. But yeah. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Great Tuesday Rumble number 9. I'm Kiobi. Mm -hmm. I'm Zyaflare. And we are getting this bracket locked in for you. We got 11 players signing up, and we might get a 12th, possibly. We're waiting That's to see. Yep. Yeah, as always, uh, Great Tuesday Rumble is a Advent League ranking qualifier. Um, no matter how well or how, I mean, no matter how well you do, you're guaranteed at least one point towards the league. So there's literally no reason not to sign up for it. Oh, yeah. I believe uh, our great organizer, Zan, is looking for a 12th just to bump up the size of this league to medium size, which will be worth slightly more points. Does that mean I should sign up? I mean, can you run this show and play a Puyo match? No. All right. I've, I've, done, I've done this once before. You do not ever, ever want to run a stream and play your matches at the same time. If you're running a stream for a tournament, never ever play in that tournament. Oh no. Right. The only exception is like maybe if you're running like an eight man bracket and it's like round robin or something. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. Me. But this this is this is not that, so. This is not that. But yeah. We got yeah. Oh. Well where we you got the bracket? <laughs> I do have the bracket, yes. Uh, yeah. We have first seed as always, Void, showing his dominance in good old Great Tuesday. Right behind him, Digger Dan, always a fun to watch him as well. Uh, KZN is our third seed, as followed by Shiro and Anameru. Oh, the usual then, suspects. The usual suspects. Uh, don't does the, don't forget Cooper as well. Oh, yeah, oh. my favorite. Mm -hmm. Like Co Cooper, he doesn't doesn't have a rep doesn't finish what top placements regularly but cooper is definitely like one of the most exciting players to watch in my book mm -hmm. yeah it's always it's always fun to watch how he builds his chains uh, oh yeah he definitely picks the options that you don't normally expect and it's very fascinating to try to break it down uh when you watch over it again but moving on from that so we have followed that with ferret a good old regular of great tuesday rumble Always fun to watch him. Mm -hmm. As well as Tony, too, Mr. Gambler. <laughs> you got you got to mention it every time you talk about Tony. Right after that, we do have Goose's Gate. I don't remember. I think Goose has performed in the Great Tuesday Rumble before. So glad to see them coming out again. Also, after that, we have Banu. Uh, he 
shows up every now and then as well. Glad to see you here. Yeah, love, and then love we have, uh, yeah, and then you have Dwayne ZX, which I think is the first time I don't recall them being in the bracket before. I don't. Least, I'm not familiar with the name at all either. So they I'm... they play in the uh, EPPC uh, monthlies. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So they are they are known they are known face around here. Cool, cool. I just don't remember them being in GTR. But if this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm sorry, but good to see you again. And that is our lineup for today. Yeah. I think the bracket's gonna be locked in and then we'll get our match first match on stream shortly. Awesome. I hear the sounds. Oh, that's just me fiddling my uh, thumbs. I am I am a chronic dumpstick twiddler. <laughs> I am a button fiddler instead. Oh, Especially no. with the arcade stick. It's it's so and it's so clacky. It's it's even worse. Oh oh I feel that, yeah. Yeah. Like I, I do that every, it's, it's like my ritual every time I start a song in a rhythm game. Yo, Anna Mira once again on stream first. Immediate volunteer. Or or is she replying to Tony talking about where are we dropping? Why are people talking about Fortnite in the event lobby? Uh, someone is getting the Fortnite Battle Pass instead of playing GTR. You know, it happens. Okay, it does seem that we will be streaming uh, first with Shiro Yin versus Anameru. All right. I don't recall seeing this uh, matchup. Surely they have played before, but I don't. I don't have any history knowledge of it so it's gonna be very interesting to see how that goes out both are extremely aggressive players even even like by today's standards too i think the only the only subtle difference is maybe shiro just likes to enjoy larger chains um he is very confident at building very irregular forms and being able to have a massive chain on top of that whereas anomaru is definitely a more on the aggressive side I haven't watched enough Anameru to have it drilled into my head, so I'm looking forward to getting reintroduced to her playstyle. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Here we are. Yeah, so it, this is going to be winner's round two because this is the only round without a uh, winner's round one match. We got buys. We got buys for them. We got buys indeed. Yeah. But it's all good. They both deserve their buy. So, just a reminder, this is a first of five. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking for this lobby here. As you're doing that, just gonna go quickly go over the fun facts. Shiro Yin just wants to comment Green Poyo. That is all. Fair enough. Ida Mario wants to shout out Pit Kid Icarus. I see you. I see you. I respect it. The, the heart makes me question her feelings for Pit. Why, why do you have to question it? It's very obvious with that. I wonder if she has ulterior motives for that little boy. Mm. I'm not going to think about it too much. All right. Try to keep up. So we got Shiro on the left. Anameru on the, the right. There and you go. Where is my screen? <laughs> I see it. I don't know where you, I don't know if you see it. Remember, I'm the producer's chair here. That's true. All right, kicking it off. Uh, uh, Anameru probably going for the... No, l shape for Anameru. Shiro has yet to decide on their transition yet. It looks like something rocket-like. Oh, like, God. Yeah, I like Anameru's tail color. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the purple to yellow link on the tail side is great, but they're oh! gonna get hit pretty hard with that hellfire. That two chain sucked. Yes. And there's the oh, Shiro could have just fired main chain right there. That probably would have been uh, curtains for Anameru. No, they couldn't. There was a missing yellow puyo in column one. All he needed was a short chain. Let's be real. <laughs> That's true. That's exact. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he had no concerns about his main chain because he doesn't need it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is a very common GTR build that you like to see from most players. Uh, from both sides, even. Oh, she, um, wait, Shiro's, Shiro, Shiro's, Shiro's blue is problematic right there. Here we go. Yes, they're fixing it right now. Yep, yep. 
There's gonna be full chain from there. They're alternating instead. Oh my god, you need some purples, dude. Where are the purples? That looks like a power 10 into an 11. Oh, power 9. I misread the chain, and I think Shiro yeah. did too. I mean, the, the, other, the other more fortunate issue is that Shiro actually had a conflicting piece. Mm. He, had a, he had a group of three greens, and he can't put down the current one he's holding because they're popping and ruining the rest of his chain. Chain instability really sucks sometimes. Yep. Sure does. All right, long GTR this time from Shiro. Whoa! Well, too crazy from either players. Yeah, Anameta's gonna win the cl win the exchange there. Is, is she? Whoa! I mean, just not barely lost it, but she has a lot more time on her hands. She has a she has a lot get more all those resources. resources. Yeah. yeah. Here comes Chain. Oh, oh, and okay, okay, okay. Sheer can build. He's good. He's gonna take the damage because he does have a trigger point. Yeah. Available. The blue the blue L is right in the middle of the stack there. Mm -hmm. He recognizes the attack. He's gonna pop in response to it. Unfortunately, That's... the reds. Oh wait, no, they're there. there. That's a saying? big chain. Yep. Can you build that back? No, you can't. There's no way to connect. Yeah, two rocks and three lines. That's gonna be GG's there. Anamaru had a little bit of a. She she had the idea to tank, but like the pieces were the build wasn't the build and the pieces weren't in her favor that time weren't in the mm -hmm. cards. Yeah. The other thing is that I would love to see some quicker harassment. Like if you had Shiro, like you get you threw Shiro two lines, you definitely need to throw more immediately to make sure that you can't access his build. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like you, you did a good job with the first step. You need to make sure the second step follows up very soon, unless you have are very confident that he had a very bad time accessing his board, which he did not. Like that two chain little pressure from Anamaru, clean up her stack a little bit. Yes. What is she building? Um, I think the trigger's the red, that red L shape, middle right. Yes, but like, oh, okay, I see the red on top of column six. Okay, yes, you're right. He, is, he does need a purple on column 5 if he wants to extend it all the way. Yeah, he's just gonna pop your pain. Or at least once he got out of it. That's a big 6, though. A very big 6. Oh no! Main, but She's got chain cut! cut. Purples. Yeah. Yep. But that is an 8. Shiro's building. Not enough time. No, not enough colors. Yeah. Some, something that really stuck in my mind la uh, from some previous commentary. Um, it was either with Yoshi or... No, it was at, with S2. Talking about uh, the precision of hits. You, sometimes you don't want to go too big. Because you don't want to give them more time than is necessary for them to actually counterattack. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. And the other thing to consider is... You want to at least... You have a large enough word... Like you, you don't want you want you don't want your attack to be necessarily fatal, but you want it to be enough to the point where they're forced to respond. Yep. Right. Like the bare minimum that will cause them to respond or simply just die outright. Good tail. That power it's gonna clap back. Yep. Indeed. So Shiro's up to three now. That was a fun race. I feel like Shiro's having a, a more effective time being the first to deal some sort of partial damage compared to Anamaru. Anamaru has been doing some like very large harasses or just large chains in general and it hasn't been working out. Shiro has his chain ready very consistently. Oh man, that chain is so beautiful. You just need a red and a yellow on, on column one there. But that blue is, that blue, blue is, this is intentional. Yes. Wait a minute. It's good. Yeah, there's good. Oh. There. The blue is intentional to prevent the color conflict to column three and four. Very, very clever way of dealing with that. However, he needs way more purples. Than... That's oh, a 12 chain. Purple. That's a 12 chain coming from Anameru. Frame trap? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Is this gonna kill though? Massive chain. I don't... There's a lot of power on Shiro's side. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the power makes me makes me question it a little bit. No. No, it doesn't work. Unfortunate. Very strong 12. Oh. And then Anamaru dabs on him with that power three. Let's play again. <laughs> it's a first of two now. Yeah, very close set. 
Ooh, this is really interesting. Okay. I'm not sure if I agree with Shiro's. Uh... Shiro's build is a little awkward. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of dependencies going on. Two chain okay, coming he's cleaned, down. He's cleaned up a bit on the tail, on, on the tail end, but this his main has some complex for sure. I like that two chain cleanup from Shiro. Automar has a really awkward shape to build around, actually. Where at? Oh, no, she doesn't. No, no, she she's got yellow trigger. Did she put green and ghost? Oh she my did. god. Now the ball's in out uh Shiro's court. She got extended real fast. Nine, that's a that's an eleven chain coming through. Shiro oh, went for the yellow piece, extend. Piece, yep. There was a little bit of power in Automator's chain also, so we'll see if this actually triumphs or not. Eight, nine. His tail's not that big though. This is the issue. Yeah. Yeah. Automator had a had a power chain in the thick of her chain. It was like on the six or seven link. So mm. Um, that's definitely, that definitely made the difference in that round for, uh, Automata. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I will say, mention that it is pretty impressive how, how well Shiro is trying to recover from some, uh, problematic builds, I must say. Oh, yeah. Like, especially with the two-chain cleanup he did earlier. Yes. The, is the issue is that he needs to have a cleaner build to begin with, because it's costing him time that he does not have. Speaking oh, of time, right. you're yeah. on time right now. Here's the fox running. Seven, eight, what are you nine, doing? Ten, the purple. Eleven. Nine. No purple. Ten. There's only one in the queue. Eleven. Oh, that's that's a chain cut, isn't it? Yeah. No choice. There was no way you could build around it. No. Let's play again. <laughs> that last part was a little unfortunate on Shiro's side, but either way, good games to both players. Yeah, Shiro went. Shiro went big on that gamble, but. I, yeah. I feel like he could benefit some more from just trying to spend some of his resources using larger harasses. Like, he, he, he was able to do some cleanups with some 2 chains and whatnot, and that's fine. But a 2 chain doesn't really necessarily hinder your opponent much at all. And if you spend some resources and time throwing a 2 chain that doesn't actually sh uh, stunt your opponent's chain build, then. It's a very ineffective use of your resources, I'd say overall. Like, I'd say at least commit to like try to find some way to convert it into a Hellfire or at least a larger chain. Yeah, yeah, definitely a baseline two chain is it's it's mostly used to clean up, but clean up it, may not mitigate garbage, so you might get garbage in its place if your opponent's on the aggro. Right. Yeah, like it's, it's, that, like it's either that, or you just simply just hand them hand them the extra time, right? Yeah, yeah. It, like you're, like putting yourself, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage for 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 only because you didn't have a clean enough build to begin with. Yeah, like like you said, um, trying to convert that two chain and figuring out something to make out for it with like a th with a power or maybe a three chain at the very least. Mm -hmm. that will be a I much. Mean, having said that, yeah, having said that, like it's still better than like just popping one chain, right? Oh, it's, it's still, definitely it's better. Something. But yeah. e even then, well, they're they're both still kind of eh. But at least a two yeah. chain sends something out there. At least you get hit stun out of it for sure. Right, and if you have if you have drop bonus still available, you can send close to a whole line even. But that's the way it goes for now. Yep, uh, yep. Good stuff to Anamera. We'll be seeing Shiro and losers. Shiro's gonna be playing Banu. Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be going on right now. Right. And for stream, we will have Kazian versus Cooperi. Oh, Cooperi made it. All right. I pr I prob I'd probably overhype him a little bit too much, but he is definitely one of the most interesting players to watch. So you guys are Dude. in for a treat. Yeah, I'd say if. Drawing, drawing parallels from the fighting game community, he, he reminds me of like players who know very uh, character-specific tech, and they will not be afraid to showcase it if they can. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah. He's in with the poolnexus.com slash me. Let's go. Oh! I put those in the wrong place. <laughs> there we go. Amen, Valorant. Okay, that makes more sense. 
Omen Valorant. I don't know what that means. Omen. I I, I do not play Valorant, so I and nor do I have any context. Neither do I. All I know is that Counter Strike were some dark days, and I wish to stay away from that as much as ah. I can. Yeah, no. Cooper wants to point out that Wild D once pulled off an A chain against them. Wild D once pulled off an A chain against them in Kirby's Avalanche. Dude, is that even possible in Kirby's Avalanche? It's like it's it's Puyo one mechanics too. Yeah. If you get wait a minute, if you get snagged with the A chain in Puyo one, you clearly just let them win. Y y oh, you're dead. You died to did. <laughs> yeah, as we are waiting, uh, some more bracket updates. Uh, Goosegate has taken over Tony with the 5 2 lead. So he, Gooses will be facing Void and Winner's side. Tony, in the meanwhile, will have to be facing the losers of this match right now, in fact. Oh so boy. You'll be waiting with bated breath to see the results coming up real soon. On the other side of the bracket, we do have Ferret, uh, who did beat Banu. He will be facing, or it will be facing Didar Dan soon in winners as well. Oh, Ferret made it? Oh, let's go. Ferret, yeah. Ferret over Banu, yes. All right, that's why Banu's and losers. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. You got it. And here we go. All right, here we go. Not gonna lie, I actually like watching Kazian play a lot because I feel like their style most resembles my current uh, approach to the game. They just do it a lot more cleanly than I can. And they do have a Zabaton tail, which is beautiful right now. They just need a red in column 5 and they're good to go. Meanwhile, Koopary is stacked way high up and he's gonna harass with a 3 chain. Kazian sees it. He's, gonna, he's not gonna take it. He's gonna force the pop main. That gives Koopary all the time he needs. A yellow in column 3? What? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, definitely a very interesting choice. There must have been. Uh, there's probably something he saw, but I, I didn't spot the reason behind it. But either way, his main chain does pull it out, and we are on to round two. Coopery went from a left side build to a right side build, I think. Oh, that looks right. I, I didn't check that side. You know, Casey had built some good old pancakes. And he's coming and hitting hard right now. He doesn't think that Cooper has Oh no! Build. Yeah. I don't think Cooper meant to fire that 4 chain off. Me neither. He's gonna get dabbed on with this 9 chain. <laughs> oh no! Not with the all clear! Oh. It could be possible that he popped his shoulder because he saw it was all clear, but I'm gonna pretend he just recognized that Cooper's build was broken. Oh, okay. An interesting L shape from Cooper's side. KZ is doing his GTR with an L shape yellow. Ooh, lunchbox. Is that the red? So are you referring? Is that the lunchbox? Or the red and the blue on the bottom right, KZ inside. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hellfire! Ooh. I didn't see that. That was good. The yellow came through, though. The yellow Cooper came through. Cooper is going clutch. down. Yeah, Cooper has, has a small dig. But I don't, how do you fix this build? There's a yellow in column two. Pray. You, you pray. Uh, let's see. Combry's oh, still God. open. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, he's a small bed. Okay, two chain. Wait, what Cooper's is? Way down. What is Cooper's angle here? I don't know. That's not. That's not oh, that. Boy. That's for sure. Is he in? Okay, he, he got the miracle piece to get that chain fired. It's gonna link to the reds, and it's gonna be a massive tail. There's like a. Oh no! The oh, tail cuts. The tail gets yeah. cut short. I mean, still 11 chain. Cooper doesn't have a main chain. Yeah. Like that—that's the one thing that's preventing Cooper from achieving, from becoming one of the top tier players in the Puy English Puyo scene. Just. He, he has some amazingly creative builds, but sometimes he just can't finish. I mean, the, the, the main issue I, I think usually happens is when he takes trash from an aggressive player, uh, there's, there's a number of times where his, tra his, his build is just not resilient to even like two lines of trash. 
because he, he builds extremely even a lot of the time. So it's like when you have an even build, you take two lines of trash, you have to find some way to dig out of that. And it can be at points where it's difficult to continue to alternate your chain colors. This, however, will do the trick, though. That was a great power six to close it out for Cooper. Cooper's not going to be on the board now. One to three. No suit today for you. Oh man, what is this shape? Alright, Casey recognizes that he doesn't have his g chart built up, but he does get the double blue. Oh, he completely snacks the pair off guard. Yeah, he's gonna immediately close that with a power 2 Wait, degree. Wait, what about the yellows? Oh man, you extend with the greens that don't yeah. link up, unfortunately. Oh. And the all clear on top of that. Dab. Again. Was that two dabs for KZN it's today? Two, it's two dabs so far. Oh my goodness. He's he's at fifty percent dab rate right now. Don't <laughs> stop him. Oh, okay, oh. okay. I see I see a hellfire opportunity from Cooper's side. Oh yeah, Cooper's uh. Oh he's swapping off. Yeah, this is way okay. too late to commit to a hellfire now. This is I don't agree with that. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, he has a purple trigger, but like it does almost nothing right now. This one, chain. two, three, four, five. You can't pop the purple either because it's gonna conflict with the red. Well, Kate's this chain's falling apart. Yeah. Kate is just popping main. He has no reason not to at this point. And that's a really solid chain as well. Look at this red tail. Oh my goodness. The breeze rushing could not fish out the Puyo yeah. he needed in time. He was also missing the blue to trigger it, too. It was coming up. Good games. Good games. Well, well done, KZN. I hope you enjoyed your dabs. <laughs> uh, I right, saw so I just got a message from the bat phone. Um, we're going to get someone... Did you see the bat phone? Uh, so, we're going to be getting somebody to... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be tagging in somebody later... In like maybe 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I can focus on the stream tonight. I see. But Always yeah. down to commentate with all the peeps. Mhm. Mm I'm sure you're familiar with who's going to be tagging in. Um, oh, I'm looking forward to it then. So, yeah, KZN's going to move on to play DDR Dan. Oh, we're already in top eight side, by the way. Mhm. Mm so, coming up next is going to be Anameru back on stream with, against Void. In Winner Semis, yes. Yeah, Void uh, made his way up after taking the buy. He took down Goose's Gates, 5-1. Uh, shoutouts, I mean, shoutouts to Goose's for taking one round, at least. I I will always consider an accomplishment for taking rounds off of Void. Um, but also in Winner's Round 2, we had Dear Dan moving on, uh, who, who will be fighting KZN. He took out Ferret 5-3. Seems to be a pretty tight set as well. And so that leaves us on the loser side. We will have our matchups on the loser's round one to be Cooper versus Tony. Uh, Shiro versus Banu, which has concluded in uh, Shiro's favor. And lastly, we'll have Goose Escape versus Dwayne ZX. Oh, yeah, Cooper, Cooper and Shiro and, and loser side. That will be... Oh, that's a match. Yeah. Well, they won't be facing for for each other for a while, but they're just going to be running through the loser's bracket. Oh, man. Avoid always giving us the bird facts. Always. Mm -hmm. Always hitting us with he's the weird stuff. He's using the reverse psychology. <laughs> look up, look at the fire roast, throw it at the hummingbird. You won't. You won't regret it. I hope that's the, is that the full message or are you just filling it in for him? No, that's the message. Okay. Fiery throated humming. Damn. Well, for all the lazy people, Kyobi, can you please describe it for them? So imagine a hummingbird, but like the chest and throat area is rainbow. Mm. I'm gonna see if I can get. A... No, you know what? Hold up. 
I'm gonna sneak this in real quick before the match starts. Okay, you might want to swap the overlay while you're Bop. at it. Nice. Are you prepared? Beautiful. I think I'm gonna do this to Void from now on. Void hits me with the bird <laughs> fact, and I'm just, I'm just 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 asking for a bird. Next I'm just gonna time. I'm just gonna hit him with a with the bird picture. <laughs> just just I mean you could just ask him for the bird. I mean, we could just continue how it, how it is, like, hit the short fun fact, and then I'll just hit the actual bird picture and void. I mean, we would put it past void to have a very specific bird picture in mind, too. He's building... Man, okay, okay. So, ever since Fight Night, void has been obsessed with building sa uh, sandwiches. <laughs> really? And, yeah, he just would not stop. Yeah. And I don't know why, I haven't asked him why, but I'm gonna be honest, he's Holy really good at doing it. Holy dismantles, Batman! Are you ready for this, Anamaru? You're not! He is. Nope. That was like a hellfire into a blizzard into... Wait, what's it? Fire, ice storm, what was the most support spell? <laughs> I, I don't remember. <laughs> That was an elemental disaster, I'm gonna call it that. It was an elemental disaster, it was the apocalypse. Okay, so there is uh, some green dependencies on Void's current transition, which will be punished very quickly. Uh oh! Uh -oh. He wasn't ready! Yep. He was almost ready, that did, was crazy. Did you see Anameru convert her uh, trigger, like her two-step trigger into a thorn? Mm hmm. Yeah, that was very well played. Yeah, cut up, cut a little bit of that frame data off just to catch Void unaware. Pull the rug yep. under him. Yeah. Okay, quick one oh! to clean up. Void running his uh, right to left GTR right now. Anamaru got hit with the GTR classic. It's fine. She she's got the two purple needed, so it's not too bad. Yeah. However, you said that extending off of this is a little difficult. Uh, she yeah, wants this. Oh, is she's popping. That's the, you're cutting, losing even more time. No, don't do that. Void is Void's about to dab on Anameta right now. No, and she put the purple on column five, which is gonna cut her tail off. I mean, I don't know, it, it honestly would not have mattered that much. She only had a nine chain top, so how big was Void? Yeah. See, see, the, the 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 real problem beforehand was she had to pop a two chain on top on, that was like on top of her current main chain, so she had to cut two lane. So that means she had an 11 potential. She had an 11 potential, yes. Which, yeah, unfortunately, that, because then she she at least would have been able to survive, even though Void probably would be able to build back a second chain on top of that. All right, Void recognizing that the GTR's not built, so he's going to throw a oh. real quick chain at her. Good follow-up. Building those blues tall for the digging stake. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Flat fourth chain build. This is actually a problem for Anameta right now. She needs to pivot her chain a little bit. Yeah, there's no way. Of, now she has almost no room. That's a lot of blues. The game threw uh, her a ball. Oh. Yeah. oh my god, he was about to do it again. Oh no! He was about to do it again. <laughs> he, was, he was halfway to a dab. So Void's at one and a half dabs. He, he, start, he started raising, raising his, his arms. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. I gotta leave you for a sec, I got a phone call to answer. Alright, alright, so... Very classic GTR build from Rock Void. It's really high up, it's, he's just taking all the power from Anamari and it's not a concern to him. He has a really high green trigger, he can just pop whenever he wants. He's extending yeah. instead! Oh my goodness, why Void? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, it works too. I can't Come believe on. this. Look at this thing! Look at this link down to the yellow foil. What a bad lad. I cannot... You just can't comprehend him sometimes. Someone He's just beyond you. He's a kid. Yeah, Anamaru was trying to bury him, but he has such a high build on column 5, it was impossible to bury it. His main chain was accessible at all times. But yeah, here we go. Uh, more L-shaped build from both players. It is going to be an L-transition on top of that. Boy with the uh, pseudo-Aztec. Right now, going on on the right side. Very pretty yeah. looking. Come on. I say as pretty as a uh, fire throw to Hummingbird, even. 
He does need to fix the red. He's got a fix. And that's going to link into the purple tail, too. He just needs to get the purple down. And he will. Is this chain large enough? Oh, I think this is big enough. All right, seven, power eight, enough to return. Anamara does, is able to negate a good part of that. So she will be alive, but Void is already building back immediately. Oh man, this is, this is rough. And the red link is gonna power into a power six. There's no way out of this. This is this is curtains for Anamaru. <laughs> I come back to Anamaru being extremely dry on resources. Yes. It was a uh, it was a power eight reversal that oh. ended up re resulting in one rock of trash. Dang. Also, also Void flexing with the uh, colorful Aztec build for his tail. Oh. So yeah, good stuff to both players. I can't. I still can't believe this guy just goes ahead and just builds a sandwich. <laughs> hey, there are people. There are people who still fall back to stairs. Like stairs are their foundation, and they're still hype over it. That's fair. That is very fair. There needs to be more stairs hype. Oh, so Didi. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, you could go for it. Yeah, DDR Den and KZN played off stream. DDR Den beat KZN. Five to one. Oh. Brutal. Y you never know what happens though, because like you know in Puyo, every round a round is literally like one decision. So, but, um, especially with Dieter or Dan, it usually boils down to one decision. Yeah. And that decision is when do I throw the Hellfire at you? Just, just the fact that he has the ability to convert his chain into a Hellfire almost at all times makes him a serious threat because then you're forced to make sure your chain, your own chain is not vulnerable against him. You also have the option of throwing the Hellfire at you anyway, and if you don't have a good enough response, uh, like, you can spend you can spend your time neutralizing the Hellfire with a 3 or 4 chain, and that just gives DDR Dan enough time to just build a, I'll build you with a main. Like, mm -hmm. If he can just slowly beat you down with just his own sheer speed and just frame data, <laughs> if he really wanted to. Like a true yeah, Arcana Heart player. Yep. Uh, Void would like to take a quick, quick break, break though, so yeah, let's so move on to Loser's Bracket. I think we might see Shiro versus Dwayne. Yeah. Oh, man. Because Anamaru and Koopari, I'm pretty sure, are playing right now. So we're going to uh, be going into Loser's Round 2. Oh, Goose's game versus Dwayne came down to game nine. I'll be very fast so they don't know how, how that went down. Let's see. Cooper also had to beat Tony 5 1. So he will be facing uh, Ferret. Oh, wait. What happened? What happened? The the bracket, the, the link met, marked uh, Cooper has already won. Something happened. There. Oh, uh, versus Ferret. Uh, Ferret oh, backed out. Oh, 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 Ferret. Ferret had to drop out. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it will be it will be Kuperi versus uh, Anamaru Maru in the losers fifths. Yeah, Fer Ferret has. Quarters. Yes. Ferret backed out because it it said it wasn't feeling well. So. Yeah. Get well soon, Ferret. Get well soon, Ferret. I pray you a quick recovery. All right. So yeah, let's go. We should be getting into it soon with Shiro versus Dwayne. Yeah, Room we're is... almost there. That is not an error in the pronouns, by the way. So. <laughs> I I was about to I I wanted to bring up some some really stupid, so so there's a channel that makes like a you know mis misquoted uh, Sonic, uh -huh. scenes. Oh and yeah. There's a there's a particular skit that's basically like Shadow telling the sh uh, start, no, Sonic telling Shadow like, uh I won't talk trash but I want to be able to do it right like tell me your pronouns and the Shadow goes I don't have pronouns. What? <laughs> You will refer to me, but only by my name, Shadow the Hedgehog. 
Oh, what an edge lord. Yep. Oh my god, is that who I think it is? Hey, how's it going? How the match has been? Tag, What's you're up? it. Oh, thanks, okay. Kyobi, for holding well, down the I guess I'm stuck with you now. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm here. For me. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I didn't see who was entered because I was out. Please go easy on I, I only well, saw Void, Dan, and KZN. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Anamere and Kuperi who are currently fighting out in loser's bracket. And we're going to watch Shiro Yin versus Dwayne ZX. Right now. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, Shiro picking the worst character. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I, I think it's probably going to be very Shiro favorite. I don't know much about Dwayne. I, I just know that they play a little bit. Banned. Yeah. Pretty standard play. Uh, they they show up at uh, quite a few uh, EEPC tournaments. Okay. Oh, they have a Hellfire so that's a good attack. Yes, but Shiro was already ready, so unfortunately he's got he's got to build really fast. Dude, that, that trigger for uh, Shiro was so troll. The, the double color is like I have to build a three pillar up. <laughs> I know you hate those builds. Oh, they almost got the extension though. Oh. The issue, okay, so this is a side note. The, the kind of issue with what Dwayne did with um, the double like Hellfire extension is, man, that actually gives you like almost no power on your extend. Wait, on the extend on the uh, the, on the whole the front of the chain? Just like in or general, like, okay. like you're gonna have like no power. Like yeah, it, it, the, the power you get is actually so minimal that your chain already has to be trading back, like for it to work. I see. Oh, this is gonna get hit. Sure, gonna take some dead heads, yeah. The alternating, the alternating yellow green is not not doing him any favors with that chain. Yeah, it's pretty true. I got shoes on, but don't worry, there's a chance of survival. How is he getting down right now? This he is, is getting weird. down. Dwayne doesn't have a, he's have a hard time actually extending his chain. The yells don't link up at all. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. I don't know where Dwayne was with the finisher though. There is no world where you don't look over, see my opponent only has like four rows and just has like a three chain. I, yeah, you kind of need to just throw anything at them, right? Like, they, they already had half their board filled up and then they got four lines on top of that. They have no space to get out of that. Like, you, you need to you need to finish the job. Yeah, it also gives a lot of scary information to Shiro, because now he knows Dwayne isn't looking. Oh, that's, that's true. Puts, that puts Dwayne at like a super disadvantage. Dude, this red power though? She was got a gun loaded. Yeah, but look at Dwayne. Dwayne actually has a really nice chain. Oh, they go mm. through it too. Okay, there it is. This is good for Dwayne because at least he can extend. He has a lot of time. Yep. Oh, that's bad. That sucks. There's no yellow too. Dude. That sucks so much, man. Oh, you need to put a blue in the ghost row. I mean, it was a versus 12 chain. I'm looking at the choice. I feel like the chain was pretty long. No, that is why I picked it. But he had much more choice anyway, so he got drowned. So feels bad, man. Feels bad. How do you like Shiro's uh like very tall column two transition build? I think it works for what Dwayne wants to do. No, I'm talking about like Shiro's size right now. That's what like, I'm saying. Purples. Okay. Uh, like, uh, like, uh, yeah, I think it's great to be honest because it adds a lot of players to your chain, and it also takes trash pretty nicely, because it's always accessible. Like, something will be accessible. So small attacks aren't very useful. Okay. Okay, the follow-up. See, this, yeah. is how, this is how you do it. I mean, you have to kill them no matter what, but that's how you follow up. Yeah, and that's the other bonus, is because your tail is already flat, it's so easy to just, like, put poyos there and just attack with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what can you do? Dwayne, is that submarine? It's going there was an attempt. Wrong. There was I, an attempt. Of, <laughs> they, they're just doing a build on GTR. Yeah. Wait. The no, they're doing it. They're doing it. Red. Yes. Yeah, they have. They have the transition. The issue is there's so much blue conflict here. You gotta get rid of the blues and use purples. Controlling yourself. Oh my god. Okay, the purple's being used. The purple's being used. Oh my god, it's not being used. Never mind. It's you the blue <laughs> still. Why would you do this to yourself? Wait, the perfect piece. Oh. oh yes. Okay. Okay. They have one Wait. extend. They want extend. They know they There's have no to. Though. Okay, yeah. Oh god, that's so rough. They, they, they just oh, the only the time. Cuts. Oh, no. Lots of that's just unfortunate though. Yeah, I respect the attempt. Anyone who builds some ring gets my, you know, gets my brownie points. Mm -hmm. 
for sure, for sure. I'm working on that too. Uh, summary is hard build if you start with your tail, because the the one like row flat that you can build like two poyo like or two column like submarine, but I don't know many people do it because it's a little awkward. It is. It's yeah. definitely hard to build it like uh, intuitively at first, for sure. Yeah. It's because you need all more L's, or you have to know how to build like race tails. Mm hmm. And it seemed like the Dwayne was too comfortable with that. Yeah, I feel like most players don't go for race tails in general. Um, Not in the West. Yeah. No. I I actually like to do it a lot because uh, solo and GTR forces you to have much less space for your tail, so you're kind of forced to do some sort of jank stuff no matter what. True. And that includes race tails. All right, so let's see. We got Boyd, Dan, I'm finding a chance to look at this bracket on winner's side. Yep. On a beat Shiro, which is like pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was talking to a few players. I, I think I was talking about this with Tag on um, WPL's online event. Now, Ana is a very interesting player because she kind of like the OSW Tetris effect, where she'll, she'll either be like the best player on the given day, or, or she'll find up, or she'll struggle in certain opportunities. But even her average is still really strong. Oh, absolutely. When you make it this far consistently so often, you have to be. Yeah, because I think she's only had like one, like air quote questionable placing. If you like, it's like top player questionable. To other people, it's probably fine, right? It's like, a, you probably got upset in bracket. That's like kind of questionable. It wasn't even upset because like OSW yeah. into like the winner of just basically like into top eight. Like, so like ninth is not bad. It's like mm -hmm. really good still. Oh, but there we go. We got Void and Dan. Void with the bird pick. I like it. That's He's a, a good uh, fiery throated hummingbird. See, this is this is the good stuff. Like we should do. This is a good edit from Kyobi. To just throw in the bird picks that he's making you Google, so you don't have to Google them. What are you throwing him? Uh, lizard pictures. That's a good question. I'll commission my character as a po in the Poyo Poyo art style, and then I'll pretend I'll role play as I'm a Poyo character. I'm not gonna lie, I legit thought about doing that already too. I respect that. We can start our Poyo Poyo D and D campaign. <laughs> It's time Here to roll for an issue. They're just as good as Poi Poi Quest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't get me started on Gacha. We're, I'm not going to Gacha tangent in this tournament stream. But here we go. The roll for initiative. Who's going to get that nat 20? It's probably. Oh, it could be either way. This matchup is so it's weird. It's going to be Boy. He's going to pay for it. But it's a winner side, Dan. Mm -hmm. First eight as the always for for GTR. I like the tail that Dan has right here. It's very uh, combative, for lack of a better term. Like he can fight really easily. Okay, so look at that power. Still since two. It doesn't. It doesn't. Set, it's not enough to bury Void though. He's able to get out that if he has the time for it, at least. Oh, he's missing red though. Red. Yeah, yeah, they can fit the red to the other uh, part of his chain. Mm -hmm. you See, this is like what I've, I, I talked about this with Yoshi on his stream. I forget if you're around for that. Where Dan is at, when he's playing 100% is probably like number one. And it's always on the winner's side because he'll, he'll just like beat Void like single handedly. Uh -huh. But then you put Dan in like loser, then the Void always runs a back. And it makes you, it just makes you wonder like what happens some days, you know? You can get that big though. I think, functionally speaking, like, Dan's style is probably, like, the strongest style, but it's also, like, for, it demands a lot out of you to do it properly. I, I can agree to that. Like, Dan, I think the way Dan plays him is extremely smart. But, like you said, yeah, it, it kind of gets a little inconsistent once you start tiring out. Mm -hmm. Like, on paper, it's, like, extremely broken. Like, being able to just use frame data and just stun locking your opponents. Or, or just forcing them to just respond main. And you have so much time because you only threw a Hellfire. Rude. But there we go. 1-1. One, one. Good clapback from Void. Mm -hmm. Void kind of been a terror recently. I, I think he's my current, like, number one Western. Double off player if he wants it. He's gonna yep, take it. he's gonna go for it. Dan has a four chase, so he's gonna be able to send some trash. But Void does. I don't think Void gets, takes a lot from this either. Not really. Three lines. If he yeah, was not... a five, it would be a lot more threatening. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's still fine for Dan. That's just such a easy, air quote easy pillar to extend off of. Yes. If he had yellows in column four, then it'd be more threatening. But it's not too bad. He's gonna go use his neutralize right now. 
Oh god, four chain three, yeah. Yeah. If he had, yeah, if it yells in column four, then he would have countered easily. Yeah, it kind of just sucks, the situation, because Void committed, and Dan built flat. Because, like, the only way you're gonna do anything reasonable to that all clear was if you had a counter set up, or you sent the five chain, which neither of those were options for Dan. What oh, is Void okay. doing? Oh, Building race, apparently. Probably not getting the colors he needs for that trigger, because he has like a green issue and a yellow issue on his Oh, okay. Side. It's fascinating, because he, he had an opportunity to at least close up the laundry chair, but he had to end. Probably for the reasons you just mentioned. Yeah, like, there's nothing he can do about it. But that was a, I missed sliding. He probably, like, thought he had a different piece that was, like, in his Q preview. And he looked over, like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That is not the red-green that I needed or something. Alright, right, right to left GTR versus L shape. That's gonna be, uh... yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really? here we go. I mean, that's okay. It's like only two rows. But the issue now is like, there's no good way to extend this into like a substantial chain for Void. He has to like, here's the, down here's the other thing because you, you, you neutralize from like three rows to two rows, but at the cost of having to send your own two chain back, right? So you just basically yeah. gave Dan free time to build. But like, he, he was gonna be covered completely if he did. If he right. didn't. So like they, there is no world war. I already said that though. This power wrong. dig. That was really good. But Dan's gonna have a pretty big six. Mm. And see, that's kind of the issue. Like once you're that high up, it's really hard to outextend your opponent. Right. It, right. It's, it's so much on Dan to like make the mistake. Uh -oh. I agree Ooh. with that. God, survival though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lot. Right. Dan just needs a red. He can't get the red fast enough. He's gotta build up on the Okay, no, never mind. Very good trigger usage. Yeah, that was a good that was a good trash go from Dan. I don't know if Void saw it. Because oh but you need the poos earlier. Yeah. He's still alive. That... Oh yeah, totally. It's, but the thing here is I need to make it last Oh god, out of time? Maybe? Oh 13. Oh, 13. That's so unfortunate. Void was about to get marked in time. Yeah. Here's the other thing though, like every single time Boy was surviving, Dan was like uh, like slowly losing his resource lead too. But he just couldn't continue with it. Well, I don't know if I necessarily agree. Like Dan was still out trading there. Yes. It's just like the trades were like super small. And that's not necessarily terrible. Like it's not like good if the trash isn't sticking. Mm -hmm. But you saw like Dan still pulled off like five chains that forced Void all the way back to us. Wow, that yeah, yeah, green like, red extension. That might just be able to decide it immediately. Yeah, I mean, I think it should, it should be survival for Dan. They no, do have a power eight. Oh, Dan, I actually got to ten. Jesus. Uh -oh. I yeah, really the, the very quick green extension basically decided that. Wasn't sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's got two rocks on the nine. Mm -hmm. so it was just a, I thought it was just one rock, but yeah, fair enough. Alright, here we go. Yeah, Dan has the lead. Is the usual Dan winner side I kind of come to expect. He's gonna Hellfire again, potentially. I mean, Boy had that option too. Oh, this is the best. I'm trying to channel. bait it out. Mm -hmm. You're trying to stun lock it. That's funny. Oh, God. Wow, There's he actually lock. wins that trade. <laughs> Yeah, the, there's more color difference on the Void side. Right, with that extra color bonus. Yeah, Void's in the driver's seat. He's just going to build the large chain. He's going to yeah, go use a convert. Yeah, but down. Mm -hmm. Oh god, everything's blowing up. Oh, uh, that green link kind of hurts. Or the missing green link hurts. Yeah, damn. That was a good, like, double. Like, both of them played that so well, but Dan had the efficiency. Oh, oh God. Boy has a free. Yeah, okay. He's going for the greens. He just needs to not get drowned a little bit. He got it. Yes. But that's still a four versus. Oh God, that's a four. It's not a four. Yeah. I'll tell you about Dan's channel with a four. Okay. Dan looking for the extend. He's gonna get it. He's gonna survive at the very least. Beautiful. It counters too. Yeah. Perfect neutralize. Boy's so already calling Dan. Yeah. You have to do what Void was doing, just survive for like yeah, an exactly. hour. But Void's follow up is just as good as Dan's for the previous round. The you yellow will help. No red, you can get another one up there. Would have been very beneficial, because then that four wouldn't 
stuff for Rose Crest when I first much. Boy has built up so much of the resource lead. Can't just trying to like kill time. This all clears. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah. Gross. So yeah, basically what we saw last round, but the other with, with, with the players swapped. Yeah. Yeah, it could, Void did it much better. I, I feel like Void has the strongest mid game of like the trio of three people between the like, Yoshi, Void, Dan. I could definitely agree that that Void's mid game is stronger than Dear Dan's. I don't think I've seen enough of uh, Yoshi's to make a statement on that. There, we have a. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. kind of bad for Dan because he can be a lot of resources and Void has full access. Maybe I Dan think Void's build tricked him. him. I think he just pretended oh, that he had a sandwich build, but he actually had an L-shaped trigger. That's rough. And there's kind of like the other hard part for Dan is we kind of see the same strats every time on that GTR so far. This set, or not like all the like exactly the same, but like the same idea, right? The same kind of like, hmm, I'm gonna just really turn my key form into a Hellfire. And that's like good, but also tells Void. Hey, he keeps doing this. Maybe we should do something about it. Yeah, but I feel like it's only in the sense that like it forces Void to think about it, but it, like the strategy Dayo Dan has is not wrong. It's just that he just needs to execute like the timing either better or just recognize when Void is just not vulnerable and just give up and build main chain instead. It, it's very Jack of all right? And Void is a game, because it's like most of the first game, where you have to have more than one strategy, or else you're gonna fall behind. Usually, I have to get like, so good that one strategy. But well, you're gonna get Dan right for Void right there. I mean, the strategy is that if you recognize your opponent's not falling, they're not gonna get hit by the Hellfire, you just convert it into back to your main chain. Right? But they're always good at the same time right. every round, right? They're not, they're not, it's not gonna be like, hmm, maybe he won't do the eighth thing he's done at the same time again. Right? Like, that's not how that works. Fair enough. Okay. No, you're wrong. Like, it's really working for like Dan. But I do think it is giving Void some extra opportunities to like not have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. I three response. Void sees point. it. Oh no, Dan did not just commit to that. On I the think that was an accident. I I don't, I don't think there was a reason to do that. I, I feel like he had to have thought Boy was taking that hit. But I don't know if it's traced back to the moon. Like don't get me wrong, 30k is like not the worst amount of damage to take. Oh, oh god, he blew up. No, not even close. Yeah, it blew up. The entire tail was screwed. If that tail had not blown up, maybe there. He's eating couch. Losing that tail is so brutal. Yeah. No. Okay, I'm still even now after Dieter then had a 2 4 lead. Right. Yeah. We're seeing this, we're seeing a strategy so off the, from Dan. We're back to like this double tower, kind of like right side GTR kind of build. I'm a big fan of this build. I, I think it's a little troll, but like it's good because it's troll. All right, so oh. Void's anti rushing. Peter Dan does have. Oh, he has a yeah. build. Yeah, he's triggering it. Is it a chain versus? Like, is it pretty strong from Dan's side? Power six, right? Power six. Yeah, yeah, it's enough. Oh my so god! One line though. Oh, that's not good at all. That's so bad. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. Yeah, he isn't gonna take this trash. He's he has to use his counter chain really soon. Oh, okay, that was so nice that the two trash didn't land there. Yeah. He's not gonna survive. He's gonna trade back, but he has to almost half only half his board to work with. I don't agree with this two chain pop. I kind of don't mind it because like Boyd will still have more space. And, like Dan's gonna have a limit how much he can build versus Boyd. Right, because he's still slightly buried. On his yeah. Board. And like stuff like that, like Dan's gonna be randomly forced to clearing random things. Mm -hmm. So now he can't get his to work. Massive power return. Oh, this is rough. Oh, he doesn't have to. Oh, that's. Oh, that's... See, that, that's like the. See, that's why I think that it was worth the void because like more space will always be more in the long run. So once you're that high up, you don't have the luxury of picking if you want to clear something or not. That's fair. I can agree with that. Okay, void taking a set lead now. Yes, he and is. And a little behind. You don't like to see this. You do not like to see this at all. But Void does have a lot of purple dependencies that he's getting fixed right now. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna clear the green. That's interesting, because now he's gonna make those greens work. He needs the yellows. Okay. Small two chain. I have no clue how this tail is supposed to work for Dan. Because he needs uh, yellows over there. It's uh. purple, purple to green to yellow. He needs to put a green back down again. Oh, oh now, now his tail doesn't work. Oh, okay. Yeah, his tail doesn't work at all now. 
Dude, he's yellow's on his trigger too. <laughs> oh god, it's double. He can't do it. He killed himself. Oh <laughs> Jesus. That, that just, everything was just everything in that round was just so screwed. There was like no way. That, that, that hurt my brain to look at. <laughs> it's like I've had those. I think everyone has those moments where they play Poya where like the head just turns off. You're like, what the hell did I just do? And then you can't fix it because it's so be broken beyond repair sometimes. Yeah. And you just, you just feel bad. That was a good extension from Dan. Mm -hmm. I really like Void is here. building up. Okay, yeah, he's just going to use it for us. That was painful. That was not good. I agree that really bad. Yeah, there's no way they can fix that. His main chain is totally buried, yeah. They, he definitely did not mean to pop those purples. That, that was and definitely an, 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 an oh trying to look at what um Void was doing. Void was down 2-4. It's not big lead though. I Maybe, think but if you, but if you think about it, he, it, and then he won the next six out of seven rounds. True. But I, I feel like that's kind of like what Void does. Sometimes he's a little sorry, but like you can find, he's just yeah. so consistent. He is. God. Yeah, I, 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 no one, no one does safe aggression better than Void. Yeah. Yeah, he he does practice literally, probably literally looking at his opponent's screen like every couple pieces. Mm hmm. Which, not many players, like even Yoshi, has admitted to having trouble with that. It's just Which very is, difficult, too. Boss gets avoid a giant advantage, though, because he can do it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, rough end to that set. Uh, you know, that's a little pep of hands. What can you do? It's I okay, mean, Dan and losers, he, he, can, he can try to go for the run. Yeah, get the, get the losers finals done and then try to run it back after that. But Papa. speaking of that, we have loser semifinals between Anamara and KZN coming up. We got something else before that, though. Oh, snap, we do. No. Let's go. Um, no, I'm not going. All I'm right, staying right I... here so I can talk about the English Poyo Poyo Community Monthly, which are also part of the Advent League circuit. So I believe the beginner one always comes as casual, and the expert one is, you know, expert. Uh, I, for, I think for like points, I forget how they worked it last time, but you get two streams for the price of one event with S2 and Juice, and then Yoshi stream the advanced and expert bracket. So, you know, fun times to be had. Yep, I think coming up on the last, 28th. Yeah, last Saturday of every month. I-16 UTC, which if you're American, good luck. You're going to have to put that in a converter. <laughs> okay. It's true though. How many of you Americans do you know UTC? Like zero. It's only tournament organizers. But here you go. PCO Euros, poster inspired by One Punch Man. I believe that Anna drew that. That is I'm right. I'm pretty sure. You're right. But that is this coming weekend. It's uh, 521, 522. Qualify for Avon League. It's a premiere, so winner auto qualifies. I believe our only auto, qualif auto qualifier right now is Void. And going into this one, I'm going to just say I think Dan's the favorite to qualify. Okay. Because Yoshi can't go. Uh, Billy, been having a rough time. He's been on the downswing the last year. Uh, KZN still kind of like fine for that top. If Void's entering, it's like you have to fight through Void Dan, and then like potentially he could. That's like that's a tall ass, right? Right. It's a hard one. But we'll see. We'll have to see what happens this weekend. It'll be lit. I'll be at work though, so I can't watch it. Mm hmm. But hey, for those who are still around, it will be this weekend. Yeah, if you want more information, though, on Avent League stuff, you can check out avantleague.poyo.us. A website for all your Avent League needs. I believe there's a link to the points distribution, so if you want to see how many points you have for the point qualification, you can check that. There's a link to the calendar, so you can see events. That's pretty pog. And then, hey, upcoming events. You see one of our new partners right here, Puzzle Wednesday. Oh, snap. I believe they are playing on the Fightcade version, so just be aware of that if you try to enter that on June 4th. And then, you know, off the GTR returning, the monthly we talked about, the premiere. Mm -hmm. I think there's something for France later on this month as well. So keep your eyes peeled. It's nice that puzzle one Also back. happening June 4th, we got WPL Championships in SoCal. This yeah, one is to be held in the Irvine Esports Arena. Uh, tons of Tetris events, but Soapy here will also be hosting both a mixed bracket and a swap bracket. 
be alongside Beast and Shen. This will be an interesting one because this is probably the first time the Poyo players are seriously like competing. Because I know there's like a few Poyo players that showed up to um, the Columbus one and they got washed because it was on like 92 second or 96 second. But it's also like it was some of the more casual players. Whereas this one has a bit more of our actual, uh, I don't say actual for me, but like more of our, I guess, dedicated tournament players. Because you have like me, Zyphor, you got Ferret showing up, you got Fenotype, Mega Pig, I believe is coming, along with Bronto, Kirby, and maybe some other uh, California Poyo players. And we're going to try to fight for our right to have Poyo in top 8. Against people like Wumbo, Firestorm, uh, Caboozled will be there, and uh, Ad Tag here. Yep. And some other top Tetris players. It'll be interesting to say the least. That is going to be a good time. And then you have another Big Spurs event. Uh, one on a Friday, which is nice. 32 second March time. The what, Is he present Suki? Yes, right? it's Suki Open, it. hosted by Edge himself. Yeah, Suki D's, as they would say. Oh my uh, goodness. Please four, kick no him off my band. Production, I need, some, oh, I need a commentary band. flagged and set kicked off. I can't believe this. <laughs> Okay, no four wide ban. I'm about it because I think four wide makes is like a lot more fair in margin time. It, it, it takes so long to set up the margin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only reliable I think four wide opener is like, is it Gomshu into four wide or is it Melon four wide? I forget which one specifically, but that'll be exciting. Uh, you got OSW in there. Everyone wants to fight OSW. That's on Friday, 6 p.m. ET. Uh, I believe it's using Battlefly. So if you're trying to sign up, you have to use a Battlefly account for sure. Yeah, I think it's very interesting because with the with the, with the rise of Mountainous stacking too, it's just like it's actually shown to be a very strong contender, and we think that like a lot of people are confident it's going to be able to contend with the center four white as a strategy outright. Got a high peak on this mountain. That's what we do. But we're going to the moon over that hour, so if you're interested, go ahead and uh, look up on suki.moon.live. And last but not least, we have Puyo Weekly Review. Um, Hosted by Kyobi himself, uh, basically you show up, uh, you can choose to submit your own VODs if you want, but more or less uh, you do this in time, early in advance, and he will review uh, all sorts of matches. It could be your matches, it could be tournament VOD matches, whatever, anything's fair game. And he does a very excellent in-depth review over all sorts of stuff, chain builds, frame data, strategies. Uh, usually it happens on Tuesdays, sometimes it happens on Sun Saturdays. Um, you, it's, it's kind of a toss up. You, if you really want to know, you have to follow his, uh, Twitch slash, uh, Twitter. Right now it's tentatively happening this coming Saturday, but keep an eye out. If you'd like to see some good old Poyo analysis, this is the place to do it. Wait, this Saturday? This Saturday. And I wonder, is he going to live, for, wait. Now that I think about it, it, I might have to cancel this Saturday, this Saturday if I'm gonna commentate. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> approached me, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna shoot my shot and see if I can commentate. I respect that. I'm gonna be working, so good luck, Kyobi. But we got Anamaru versus Kazian. Uh, Anamaru, the Kid Icarus entrepreneur, and Kazian has Valorant in his name, so I'm going to assume he plays Valorant. And you take that complete fun fact out of context. Do you know anything about Valorant? Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I know enough about it. It's like, a, it's, you know, it's, it's a kind of like CSGO meets Overwatch, kind of, for like the most normy way to describe right. it. You know, every shooter has like their ability. You have your old cool downs. But it plays a very similar CSGO, which I like about it. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Match. This is going to be, I think, the Battle of GTRs. I feel like KZN most only builds GTR right now. Ana does make it where he doesn't build GTR, to be honest. That's fair. Ana this hasn't is really awkward in the tail off on the green side, though, because we're both like pulling on the trash. He's probably to clean it up. He's not going to be able to have enough time. Mm -hmm. That's why the blues are there. So yeah. it'll be okay. Yeah, it's not enough. Just kidding, though. No. Hey, he had the uh, boop, that purple too. Ana has been playing a lot of Puyo, though. She was in the WPL bracket playing Puyo, and she fought with Deck, who I think most people know him as the Japanese name that ends in the letter P. Very strong player player doesn't get to enter many events. Uh huh. And she she's surprised. I want to say like, it's completely surprising, but she ended up what I felt like was an upset. Miss Wade. So, Very impressive, I would say. Then yes. Yeah. So she's she's been on the grind a lot. She's mostly known right for her crazy efficiency. She's she's not gonna 
pokes you all the time. And when she does, it's usually in an all-in form. Oh, he's had a hard good. time figuring out how to fix his build. He's, he's like he was thinking about a really long time, and just, just even during while KZ and the main chain was popping. It, that was also just I felt like a little sloppy from KZN. That Which is interesting be... because he was building very clean, like the like conventional builds you would expect to see from most players. There is the potential that he's trying to play a little too safe and it's messing them up, because Ana is known to be to just like randomly aggress. And that can mess with some players who aren't used to it. I'm gonna try to poke out Ana, but he's yeah, so but far behind in resource. This still cuts though. Does that send back? Just like four pieces. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna take so much time to get this working. You have to clear out. And okay. it's not like awful. Another yellow for tail? That's rough. Yeah. It's not bad. You can extend it with the greens too if he wants to. Yep. So, so he, has a, he has a working chain now this time around. Yeah, my well, like still kind of far ahead. She's gonna be careful that he doesn't block stuff off or force himself in the main chain too early. Mm -hmm. Or he's gonna force himself oh, in the main chain. Right is forced now. And but, also, okay, the yellows is fine. Oh, yeah, it cleaned itself up on, on the side, but it cut the pert yellows instead. Yeah. It's really bad. She's forcing the blue extension. It's and then the work. yellow doesn't help either. She probably should have cleared the blues. So I had the best chance to survive that. Right. So because like the blues weren't gonna cut on the trigger, so you can get rid of them. Like it still would have been workable. And sure the purples are a little issue, but you already had purples and Keegan for trying to clean up with. Okay. Very similar builds from both players right now. Yeah, Y Joy from KZN. I, I always like to see those. The, the, the problem with Automata's build is like they, you need okay. You, let's say you need you need that purple to actually start working on her tail again, but she just got those as soon as I said it. I think she's fine because KZN is so green reliant on his build right now. He needs it for his tail. He needs right. it for his trigger. He needs it to not cut on this chain coming up. Yeah. So if you look at Ana, her chain is a lot easier to extend. Ooh. And this means she doesn't have to play as aggressive. She can just wait for KZN to have to commit like this. Look how many reds you're gonna need. There's no good way to get reds over there. No, there isn't. You can't alternate the reds easily. Because you get, yeah. The only way you could do it is if you put another red piece on column three, but there, that's a death space, so. Okay, this is actually really rough to watch. This, this is, is not like. This is brutal. The, yeah, I feel like KZN was definitely played a lot better earlier, so this is unfortunate spot. Yeah. Uh, it, I don't know. Maybe he's just tired. Great. Well, I know he's in Germany. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's those hours. Yeah. But yeah, it's still rough. So he never won't be in the situation. It's gonna be full though for KZN. No, it's not. It's a four chain. Oh, just right. Oops. And it catches too. Good follow up. Recognizing that it hit. There's no way to get down fast enough. Yeah. No good links. There you go. A good round for KZN, thankfully. I think this is probably what he needs to do, is find those fortune attacks. So Ana typically fights with like power twos and like threes. Mm -hmm. So if you find something a little bit longer, a little bit more powerful, I think it will make Ana's life harder. Yes. As a reminder, this is back to the semi, so this is now now back to a first to five round. So not as many chances for these players. Yeah. Well, There's a three. strong hellfire opportunity somewhere for KZN if he wants to go for it. He's needed yeah. to go for it. If he can get out, Ana is not built to attack or defend oh, very easily. Chance. So he could he's actually in super danger. There you oh, go. Yeah. Force there, it, it, just as you said, yep. Yeah, that's what I mean like when Ana was like mostly efficient. Like it, it, was that chain extremely long? Yeah, it was. But it forced her in a position where it's like because her chain is a bunch of four poyos, like her scaling is not actually that strong on that chain. So Kazian could potentially out extend that without too much difficulty. Because you, you, you want more of your players to be towards the end of the chain, right? Right. Interesting two chain possible players. Kazian still needs the yellow. He's just going to continue the option select between the harass. Ooh, the oh, attack. you need to go. You need to go. I mean, this is still larger than uh, Anamara's harass. Yeah, yeah Anamara sees this. In the pool. Yeah. Actually, can I get this easy extension KZ from the game? the easiest extension! Good lord! Is okay, this Nikita versus the 9 chain though? Potentially. They all clear, so she has an extra rock to work with. Yeah. Oh, this does return. Oh, Even just with barely. Even the all clear, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this because it's a lot, he did a lot more back damage. Where Ana, right. once again, just like, there's just a bunch of, you know, 4 for you. 
Ooh. Yeah, if you want any power you want to be in the back half. Wow, I didn't get it. Oh, so close. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna link the pick up the L's won't. Though. But it's not too bad. You know it is pretty bad, because that means bad. Okay. the Ana can just attack for free. And we that can link is up here, hard. so it's gonna neutralize a bit more. Still three lines though, that's not our hero. So I'm gonna try to go for like the red into like purple. I guess that's not a thing it'll be worth it. But I feel like you should use, just go for it, because you're not gonna get anything on that left side. Yeah, you'd be dead either way, right? Yeah. So Ana at match point. You might as well just go for the dig. This is rough for KZ. Like, it's looking a little bit better now, but it definitely just feels like this side is just on Maru, the game. As in, like, on Maru to lose, or just. Yeah. Oh, KZ has to force an awkward extension. Yeah. Like, or he's gonna power. To... No, okay, he's just gonna do the alternating good. color. Yeah. Okay, small two for Amana. I don't agree with this pop from KZN. Now you're, you're forced to rely on a bunch of different colors. What do you even do here? Just pop and pray you can defend. Yeah. Hey, you can. That's the worst. No, oh, I, I can't that's, get over. that's enough to, to cover everything. Yeah, said. I, I don't know what KZM was doing this set, but it was good for Mana punishment completely. Right. This is literally just on a play so much better. So I'm actually a little disappointed in KZN. I thought it was just a bad set. Mm -hmm. I see. As, yeah. as someone trying to beat his ass in bracket for so long. <laughs> there you go. I there so, we go. <laughs> I, just, I have so annoyed when he, anyone, if I lose to someone, I don't want them to lose to anyone else. So when I beat them, it's better. So I expect KZN to come back strong next tournament or in the qualifier coming up. Yeah, I mean, it means you have high expectations for him. I do. Well, okay, GG's to both players for now, at least this time. Uh, Anamaru will have to face the Dan losers finals. This will be interesting. This will be a tough one for Ana. But I feel like if you have any chance of being Dan, it's probably going to be when he's in losers. So what they, you they, said uh, during winners finals about his, uh, his, his track record? Yeah. You ready? This is mostly a recent thing. So there's always like Dan can make it running. Because he has done it before, like the earlier GTRs. And he's done it in like the big tournaments too. But I feel like it's been like kind of like 50 50. Mm hmm. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. You got first eight, so there's a little bit more room to work with. Oh, for sure. You mean you see you see both players just recently play. How how do you feel the set would go? Dan. Okay. If Dan plays I mean, like safe, usually, safe bet for sure. Like if Dan average, like even though I still I say like Dan average still loses like Boy Yoshi. Uh, I you know, I would on a I think most people would not put Anna in the same tier as Boy Yoshi, right? Mm -hmm. But if I, I feel like Dan has to just like play worse than his average to lose. But this is a smaller set, so like you can sneak away rounds if you're being a little sneaky, like. But I feel like the the, the smart one, like the brain answer is obviously Dan. The heart is probably Anna, right? Right. Because who doesn't like a good underdog? For sure. Had I mean, I I never seen Armor have to deal with Dan's style of her, like constant aggression, so it's gonna be very interesting. Having said that, Dan is a full chain right now. He's not actually. Yeah, it's Anna Mar is actually gonna make it. Fired me. Yep. I don't know why Ana did that, but I can respect it. Because I, I get like the idea between like the one sword, right? You sell them down a little bit, they get a little oh, it's a bad purple pop. Ouch. But they, they didn't seem like there was much reason to fall into that. Did if it didn't end on exactly two. Like, yeah, the, the extra link was just like unfortunate. Right. It just been an accident. And then recognizing that there was a harass, he immediately just put Poyles on chain column five so I can quickly get to his piece. Yeah. I also think that's one of the harder parts about, I guess, the low to high level Poyo in Western is that people like Dan and friends oh, are not going to fall for the Hellfire that turned into three chain, right? Uh -huh. Like, you have to end on exactly two. Right, exactly. Oh, God. Because Dan three chain is reactable, two chain is, is hard. Oh, it's gonna get hit with her own medicine. That's a, that's rough. Mm -hmm. I, I think the reason why it's so hard for me is it, 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 it requires you to know how everything pops easily. And I feel like most mid level is includes myself. And we have a good general idea, but we don't 100% know. Right. Ooh, fortune all in. Like, there's not a lot of ways to extend this. So yeah, but he has a 6. Or 7. He has a 7, even. 
Ashley now. Oh, you hate to see it. I don't know why she's all aggressing this hard. Like, her strong stuff is always her hyper-efficiency. If she wants to stay aggressive, I feel like it should be, like, in the late game, where she can still, like, match dance with, like, on chain. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like part of it might be that she's not comfortable fighting dance aggression? Like, probably. In fear of having to fight the health. Like, if you're afraid of fighting the health fire, like, why don't I just force him into a, a faster mid game section instead? I, know, I, I agree with that. Like, look at how slow. I don't say slow, but look at how, like, less efficient this build is versus, like, the KZN that we just saw. Uh huh. Hey, it feels like she's trying to fight Dan in his own game. And I don't think you should fight Dan in his own game. I agree. Don't don't do that. Rather just let him just let him tr play his strategy and then just try to react to him faster. Like his goal is to make you react, but like at least do it on your own terms. Yeah, see, this feels like this feels like a Billy build. Like the it is a Billy the, build. The, the waifu build. So I don't remember. The, the, the real waifu build is when you pop the green uh, at the bottom, which will do a power chain. Yeah, I, I actually do it. She's going for it. Yeah, here it comes. You like that? Oh god. This is so not working. It's just so late into the build. Yeah. Dan doesn't have a big chain though. It's oh, he missed the green! Yeah. Okay, never mind. It was worth it. I lied. <laughs> yeah, I just. There's a whole other tangent me and you had about Billy's build. I'll, I'll save it for later. Because I think it's an interesting conversation. Billy is not here. Yes, let's move on. And it's more so like if she builds the build up again, I'll, I'll say it. Okay. There you go. Ella Shape. I like it. Shape. Dan, Dan's build tail side first. Yeah, this is the aggro Dan build there. Yep. I'm gonna go for Here it. Here it comes, yep. Oh, what a way! I hate to see it. That's cringe. You know what the worst part is that, like, she wasn't doing anything wrong. She had to put the red down in column Did one, and then that just wasn't fast enough. Did you know that that had no trash on it? So, it was the left Poyo thing, I'm pretty sure. Or whatever that's the thing I actually don't know. remember. I have I, I have to go back and check it out. They just stole it. Yep. Oh, and he missed it. Oh, okay, okay. And Dan has a column three. Wait, he oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. It, there's no way. Yeah. Oh, he's he's gonna, gonna, okay, he figured it out. He figured it out. He solved it. That's really bad for Anna. And it's also counters too. So Anna has less time to, to build some counter chain. It's okay because like because he already has the pieces there. Dan can't immediately commit to a chain. He has to actually build up because Anna already has a counter build. Which is why you see him waiting so much. He's waiting for Anna to overextend on it. Mm -hmm. You gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, because now Anna has to extend or else she get off chain. Yeah. Purple there. Okay. Uh... Go for the green. Okay. That works. Yeah, it's still pretty It's also a link on the, on the right side, though, because there's a missing yellow. It's okay, she's five. Oh, okay, never mind. Dan's no. immediately ready. Yeah. Yeah. Dan was already building. Where are the reds? They're not there. No reds. Nothing. Couldn't even get your forward chain in. Did you enjoy True. My this is... This is rough. I feel like Ana is playing better, though. Like, their half now is playing, like, more her. I feel like. Which is good. However, Dan does not care if you play your way. Which is bad. Hey, all clear. Oh, no, he, he, he realized it took too long to do it. Yeah, there's no way I was gonna go for it. She, she knew the Dan would- Is this one three hooked. stairs from Dater or Dan? It is. This is messed up. I'm gonna build one three right now. It's, okay. I respect it. Auto though. the big cool. thorn. Nice. It's pretty easy clear out there for Dan. Right. But good that you she forced it. There's a problem with the thing. green on column two for Dieter Dan. He needs to find a way to clean it up, otherwise it's going to end result in the uh... Actually it will it will be fatal, but it's just gonna cut the chain link by one. Yeah, you don't care. Oh it's sending? This is sussy. What? You need reds. Oh he's got reds. Wow, this is look at Anna's chain though. This is a big 15. What a giant power 15. Oh my lord. That's why I was fine. Like, Anna's efficiency is extremely powerful if you let her do it. But you have to not let her do it. Holy crap. Look at that. How much damage. Look at her score. That's how much damage that did. 120k. Now, Christ. the issue is. It's been eight rounds, you've only gotten in that position once. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I mean, I think at this point in the time, you can at least walk away with that, even no matter what happens now. No, I don't know. Anna said she, she, this is the year she's gonna win a major. Okay, all right. I don't think enough. you walk away from this set two, eight against Dan and be happy about it. 
Oh, she all in. Oh, dance up in the chain. Yeah, put a green there. Green. <laughs> that's not good. I'll dance choking. Yeah, that's death. You know what? Don't call it a comeback, but... You're in jinx on a commentary like right now? That's right, I sure am. Damn, I haven't seen a choke since, like this since I streamed. Goodbye, seven minute lead. Okay, sir. <laughs> no. Well, here we go. Okay. Looking. It honestly does feel like it's on Dan just poke. Just like out damage on us. Oh, it's converting the tail to blue instead? What's happening there? Yeah. Okay, it's converted to blue. So it's it really works. awkward shape for no, him. Oh, it's not. A green flame. It's a yellow. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets the attack, but honestly, can miss the full. There's no yellow to make this work. He's there it is. Blue right now. But will the purples link? I believe they will. No way. There's nothing that I need to buffer that up. Oh, he's a power to work. Oh, don't okay, yeah, power. There you go. Yeah, so it had to power for that to work. That's four rocks. That's not the worst to deal with because I only have a pretty strong tail. It's a six chain. The shot should neutralize most of it. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh, yeah, four runes. Ouch, though. So, yeah, frame Dan. data issues. Dan was already building. Yeah, Dan, Dan had already just been there. Done that. It, it, she's not going to be completely dead. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely not good. There's no space left, is the issue, right? Yeah, you can one change, though. That's pretty pog. Okay, now you're dead. Yeah. Like, there's like almost nothing you can access on the bottom of the chain as well. So it's like, you, even if you manage to dig out, you have no additional resources. Yeah, Dan would have to throw. There you go. This is why you want to see from Dan, though. Like, literally force on as a main chain now and just an Alex Thunder. Mm -hmm. Do not play to the tier 3 build. You're right. Don't, don't play to tier 3. That's bad. We don't like that tier. We like do damage. There's a weird build from Dan. I like it, though. Dan has to. F okay, he's using a red to buffer on top of the purple. I like that. Yeah, this is a really cool form. I don't know what Ana's doing, actually. He's trying to kill Dan because he sees Dan's build awkward. Right. Because I get the blues are now in the way. I see. I think either commit to reds or commit to the F. No, Dan has a main chain. That's the issue. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. He just yeah. commit to the reds, right? To commit to purple for the attack. Because if he had committed to purple, that's going to break and have the blue in the way. But because he also reds, right? He needs full chain. Right. It's a double activation. I don't know if committing to that three is worth it. Hold on. It turns out it was not worth it. Yeah. It was extremely no worth it. But great, his chain was so awkward. And once he got into that position where he had to either commit to a really hard cut on like a small chain or go for full, he was so screwed because Ana has such a big power attack. Right. It was also just massive and just chain length too, on top of that. Yeah. Way larger than DDR Dance. Yeah, I gotta say, like, it would have been way too hard to extend. Mm -hmm. But just got all in. Ana just doesn't have anything it available. That's not good. She's just dead. Yeah. This is the reminiscence of the WPL set versus her where, in Did Wendek, where she was on match, me? where I think they were both on match point on just like randomly all in for the first time the entire set. And you just died. And <laughs> then they gained her. Oh crap. no. Yeah. I, 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 I understand the pain there. That, that's annoying. You hate to see it. Like the, the, he hasn't done this the entire set. He doesn't last around. And you're just like, oh. But see, you can only get away with that if you're just not looking at your opponent's board. Exactly right? though, but that's, like, but that's why you the, know, right? You, you're so you're so into like they're gonna just do the same thing they've done the entire set. I don't have to look right away, mm -hmm. and then you regret it. And you're like, right. I hate this game. You, I hate it so much. <laughs> kind of mood. That's how it is. I mean, especially at this kind of this level, poi poi. Like, with how versatile everyone is, you, you, you there's like not looking at the board can just be fatal outright. Yeah. What can you do? It, Dan is good. Do you yeah. think a DDR player is not going to crush your soul? He's not going to stomp on it and rub it into the ground? You'd be thinking wrong. I've seen the old Dan VDR videos from like 2005 or whatever on his uh -huh. channel. I've wa I actually watched some of them. They're pretty, they're pretty fun. Yes. I mean, he's either Dan after all. True. And he'll be fighting Void this time in Grands. Yeah. I... If Dan wins Advent League, we should fly him out to a DDR tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so dead. I mean, we could fly him to Genesis. Paw oh, crazy. All right, here we go, though. Bird versus the 
chick that likes to punch stuff. She's the one that punches stuff, right? She's, yeah, she's... Cool. Oh, yeah. she kicks. Oh, she kicks. That's right. The other yeah, one, Rafina punches. All right. It's no, am I crazy? It, it, what? It's really, really is the one that says Iron Fist, doesn't she? I'm actually, I don't remember. I'm actually stupid. The, 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 her and Rafina, uh, they kind of like are basic to me, so I forget about who they are <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Rafina is literally just a gifted child of the school Am Amity goes to. And that's okay. that's that's her entire plot. Damn, amazing. We did it. I don't know. I, I think my favorite, I guess, like, I don't even know what the school is called, but my favorite shit post about the school is, um, what's it called? It's Amity, like, it's like, hey, you want to see any poison you want to put in my mouth? And it's like, it's clugged me, like, you're a disgrace. And <laughs> Lemire's is like, yeah, and a coward, dude, 20. And that's my favorite Puyo shit post. Oh my god. Next to like I've never seen who... I've never seen that. I forgot who Trump drew. I think it was the same person who did the animation for PPT1 for Shezo and um And Sig. Yeah, Sig's yeah, yeah. I think that was the same person. I'm not sure though. But I am sure about the grand finals, Void versus Dan. Let's have fun, okay? Hey Lemire is Pong Champ. Let's go. I am totally expecting a round one sandwich from Void. I want a Void to build Fraun. I remember when Void was pricing Fraun. I remember Fraun. we were so remember. excited for Fraun and he just stopped building it. Yeah, why stop? That's it. Void call out post right here. <laughs> he, how's he gonna beat me with it to drop it? In this is uh, you know, like this is a this is a bait power chain he's got going on right now. Dear yeah. Dan's firing me. He's not having it. <laughs> this is so much. This is still really strong from Void though. Oh wait. Wait, there's, no, this does power. Again. This counters. Yeah. Oh my God. The, the loss of power actually not being that much of a die would be. He just straight up offs like that entire chain. I know the offs like because like it was always accessible through the top. No, no, no. I mean, offs like as like the panel where he, which trigger he pops, it was either harass or main. Yeah. Here we go. Dan looking for something aggressive immediately. <laughs> This is a giga aggressive. Oh my god, sus GTR. Do it, do it, Dan. You coward. <laughs> Ty's not gonna do it. Yeah. How you gonna build that? Because this is gonna have like, so much, so little damage later. Yeah. Right? This is gonna scale super hard. Come on. Uh, have you said that though? Void scale not kind of does not help. Okay, never mind. I have no clue what the hell happened. I, I thought, I, I mean, I, I was the same, but I thought voice scale worked. Did you enjoy my technique? Apparently he did too, because he died. <laughs> Feels bad, man. But we take that for a damn. Because I was so hyped, I saw like the, the all the colors. I was like, oh my god, it's happening. You saw all the colors, yes. I was hyped for it. I was so upset that he didn't do it. Oh, he's going to do it again. But boy has a high build this time. He's a very high build. He's actually just you neutralize it instead. Oh. I feel like he could have taken that and just like sent back. It's, especially because now he lost the trade. So that kind of sucks. Yeah. Here. He's behind by Puyo right now. But it's not it's not fatal yet. He, he can okay, this is weird though. That's fine. Okay, so he has purple. It's Gucci. Boy can't trigger just because there's no purples. He's gonna I don't think he would head. really want to though. He needs to force more resource out of Dan. And now he can maybe. Okay, he's not he can try Interesting. Probably just powered up the tail to be honest. Alright, big five not gonna be enough. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Oh, oh, yeah, they attack, man. Now, like dance, you dance seven chains just like is enough at least like at least buffer like one more two more chains. True. But maybe he just was was paranoid that he was gonna get a purple later on. Yeah, right? he just saw Void's build and just saw like there's no way he do this. Yeah. Like, Goodbye, Void. Okay. Very classic tail side build from Void. We're getting very experimental with this set. Like both Dan and Blair are building some interesting stuff they haven't really done before. This we saw as often. Okay, have a potential attack. On this is so Dan's weird. Side. Yeah. Boy, he's gonna go with the janky soul. Oh no, it's not even activated. Just kidding. Yeah, it's not activated. Yeah, he's gonna do another two pop. Dan's alive. Pop the two, Dan. It's gonna pop the tears. It's gonna be massive. It's like it's power gonna break his chain. It's a six or a seven. Yeah. It's a seven chain. Oh, six or was four. not ready either. He didn't expect that. But it, boy, no extent. What is happening? What am I watching? That wasn't okay. Sweet. See, I can't fault. I can't fault that time because it it didn't look like it was a main chain build. That Daniel's popping. 
The previous one, it was very obvious it was a main chain build. Okay. I feel, yeah, I guess like Udan's build also, build also exploded, so maybe thought, okay, this build sucks. Uh -huh. But then it did not suck. It was actually In still kind of good. Pog. I don't know if blowing up your entire chain's pog, but I will allow it. I will allow it. So you guys headed the seal of approval. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna. This is, this pops everywhere. Yeah, because he knows that everyone just really just craves my approval. Exactly. So, you know what? You're right. Damn, I see really good Dan. That's the way that pod was so sick. Ooh. Wait, this is probably counter actually. It's power six. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's still star. Huge yeah. dog. Not gonna lie, uh, Dan's giving Void the work, but I don't think it's particularly Dan playing even better than usual. I feel like Dan just playing solid. I feel like Void's getting a little experimental right now. He's feeling a little sussy, but that's great <laughs> if you're Dan, because you're like, well, guess I'll just take this now. It's mine now. Mm -hmm. I was gonna Void attack. I'm gonna give up the color conflict. But Dan is drowned. <laughs> oh wow, he you hate this. Drowned it so hard, dude. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> yep, yeah, that that feels bad. They, I'm gonna that be honest. That was not his he's... fault. Okay. I know if Boyd deserved that, but God said Boyd did, and who am I to question himself? Or I question wonder how him. much money he slipped in God's PayPal for that one. Seven ninety-five. Ah yes. All right, here we go. There's a very aggressive opener from Dan. He's gonna just do it. Boyd's gonna force the pop the four. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this will send even enough to, like. Be, like, it's gonna hurt a little bit. It's not no, gonna be it's only, just only a small garbage drop. Yeah. yeah. Still better for Void though. Dan's chain is a little awkward to like extend because it's like pop from the high point and like wrap all the way around under it. Well, Void committing. Hey. That was yeah. not really worth it. That was not the right play, no. Void kind of trolled himself. A little, I'm gonna do a little trolling. It's built to read this. I just feel like I feel like Void is like a t like trying to read something out of Dan's chain, and he's just misreading constantly. I feel like Void just experimenting personally. It could be that. Uh, I think this is not like the usual Void builds. When does Void when does Void build long GTR? I mean, so, you're like the only person who builds this. Huh, I, people I build stop GTR. building long GTR unless I'm forced to. Come on. Yeah. I would say more people build sussy GTR than they build long GTR. That's not true at all. Yeah. That's literally true. not true. You got it all clear. Yes, Dan you do. stuck at the top. It's gonna yeah, have to find gotten... the way down. Okay, you got the way down. I mean, there's no... Oh, you're right. It's... Yeah, that's why I'm always right, baby. Number one analyst. Hey, he put, I put that on my mug. My dad mug. Your dad mug, Boy's huh? gonna be dead. Because he can't build anything after the all-clear. But he got the all-clear, and that's pretty you fog. Uh, he, got, he got this dab, and then he died. Yeah. Hey, all-clear is still so weird. There's, I miss there, the old I, Void, man. I miss Brawn Void, too. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Void. Dan's tail coming together pretty nicely. It's a very efficient tail. Dude, he boy, boy is boiling his chain so that he can't use column one anymore. Yeah. Come on. It's okay. He can't touch the reds, he can't touch the blues. Yeah. It's still so funny watching all these people build G a solid GTR after I feel like Yoshi just built it and everyone's like, wow, that's pretty good. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That's one of those moments where your chain is so efficient and long, but you have like no way to activate it. It was really nice chain. It was nice chain, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's happening again, boys. It's time. No, it's not. He's not gonna do it. I'm just kidding. As soon as he commits to the L on like column uh, four or five, six like that, oh. he never commits to the um, health heart. So it's not gonna be efficient yeah. enough. This is a really awkward setup on voice side. He has to be able to be very careful of the yellows yeah. on column yeah, two. Yeah, committing to the red almost gets himself in danger. Yeah. Okay. So that red on column one is, is now going to be for main chain. He's forced Wait, he, to pop it. I don't think he meant that. I think he was trying to stall. Uh, oh, but Dan actually made a huge oopsie, potentially. It, so he's going to break up his tail a lot. Okay. The green is coming in, so it still does the rest of the chain. There's so many oh, tower kind of links. Yeah. Wow. With even though like a bunch of stuff broken at chain, there's still so much power on it. Did you enjoy my technique? Feels good, man. If you're Dan, about to force the reset 
in one round if Boyd doesn't get his act together. Sometimes you gotta sit down and think, what would Lemiris do? It would eat some candy, get some energy in you, Dude, Boyd. Dude, you got some cake. Yeah, Boyd, you got the cake. Oh my god, I hate but this. But he got the dub. This such a teacher sucks. Dude, I told you. Why do people build this, this for him? Because I pioneered it. And everyone knows I'm always right, like you said. So, be, be real with me. This form sucks. It does suck. But I, but for some reason, people will with it because it's so bad, people don't expect it to actually work. They have a very yeah. high build, but I don't think anything on this right side actually links anywhere. Oh, it's just using the, the neutralize. Okay, it's gonna be good. Oh, yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna snap back, so. There's a good volleyball match right here. Oh, that hurts, sure though. Do. Oh, that, that's just barely enough to cut out the rest of the chain. Good conversion. He's gonna connect to the raid. Red's on the uh, column two. Three red extend. Feels nice, good nice. I actually might just save him because the sport chain. Oh no. Oh wait, the five at the top of Ghost Silver? Yeah. Yeah, the reds for column two. Yep. Yeah. How much resource Dan has on the board though? This is he really has so much. Void. He has no red. Boy has no blues. Oh god. Here. That's all I can say. Oh god. Wait, wait, okay, okay. He has access, but Dan's built up so much. Yeah, the boy's forcing himself to extend as much as he can. It's all he knows. It's just all he knows. Wait, that brew's problematic. Okay, he's gonna pop this way. He's gonna be yeah, he right? Oh no! Oh my god, boy oh, extended it. He got the RNG. They're gonna the perfect power a little bit, but it's okay. It doesn't matter, it's way too big for Dan. I think GTR starts 100 percent win rate. Oh my god. That's all I'm saying. Everyone always wins if they start assessing GTR because no one expects it to work. work. He forces himself in bad positions to be like, wow, this GTR sucks, but then it works. Then you just win. Because I hate this form, that form so much. I do hate but that form. It's so funny when it works. I think it's so unbalanced that it has almost no advantage. It has an advantage. Your opponent loses like five brain cells when you build it. <laughs> Here. I can hear you laughing from the other room, but your mic is... Oh, boy. Okay. Well, Roy is stuck, uh, with his transition. Yeah. yeah That's he has, pretty he's good. Just, he's just building powers on the other side, because he can't do anything with the column one. Yeah, so see, yeah, L-shape not as good as the GTR. Yes. That wasn't sweet. Hey, that's a reset, sweet baby. We're going next set. I wonder if we'll see Void just, like, build the usual Void stuff. Because they both got pretty creative that set, actually. They did. Which I respect. It was very entertaining. That was one of my favorites I've actually watched in a long time. That was like the first time he actually tried to build a sandwich transition. Mm. And it didn't pay off whatsoever. Here's what it is. I think in the GTR show is the best time to experiment with this stuff. Fair now than like in, you know, a qualifier or like a large tournament. That's also fair. Alright, we're running back now. Bracket resets. Both players and losers bracket now. And... Oh. Long it's very GTR. possible. Okay. Game about to show that how it's done. Oh, this is a very efficient chain. But so is Voids. It's only five versus four versus five though, so Voids taking a lot of hits. Dan showing Zai how it's done right there. Thanks. Thanks, DDR Dan. Barry really takes some notes, Zai player. Yes. Just win the round. Take, there you take go. Notes, take notes on the form I've stopped using. <laughs> So it's, kind of, it's good to know forms that you don't use, because then you can understand them when people build them. I agree, it's just... The cringe. Oh, he got the roll 13. Wait, is that roll 13? Oh. I think it's just tech error. I don't know. Was but I do know that was a nice count or follow-up from Dan. That was pretty cool. I agree with that. Dan, taking the 1-0. Come, can void a little bit, but maybe a little, look at the little rock. I think boy has fallen a lot more for like these just devil tower openers from Dan, though. Like more than usual. Mm -hmm. Oh god! He barely made it. Maybe too. just like, just you know, Dan's doing it more. Maybe Dan's doing it a little bit differently. Like, cause like, if you change the timing on your Devil Tower, right, it's gonna mess with people. Also true. So it could just be like a timing change from Dan that's like tripping up Void. Right. So you know, also the crop stand for that. Mm -hmm. Void does have a pretty big tail. Yeah, this is a good extension from Boy. This is pretty hot. Here. Oh, okay. Me and Ult, anyways. Here. There you go. I can respect that. Mm -hmm. And he needs to get purple, I think, on that third team. 
for it to work. Oh, hey. Is he getting that? Yes, he, he is. He got it up there. Dude, nice. I don't know how they do that spin. For like, there's like, you know... Patches. The I, 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 oh, well, it's okay. It's still gonna power everything. Oh god. But I've been impressed that the 13 player spin is so annoying. Cause you have to, you can't like mash it. You have to be precise on it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I hate that. Let me mash. I just want a DP. But there you go, two up for Dan. Another big lead. I think it's still interesting though, that the fact that like Dan's not having the large chain link, but he still wins most of the, the, the exchanges no for the last because he just has power. enough power. And Boy's not building like very large chains. Here. He's just also, trying to like, be more aggressive. I was like, this Dan style tower time. There's the stuff I meant like where he changed up the timing, right? Mm -hmm. There, that could have just been all in at any second. It forces Boy to play so much safer. Yeah, he and that's just confirming. Like, efficient. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually a big difference maker now, yeah, because Dan is always leaving his double tower accessible. It means Void can't go for, like, safe aggression because Dan will commit a lot more resource in some cases. And because if he, if they, if Void goes for, like, a big attack that he's been going for recently, he's going to use too much resource trying to defend. But if he doesn't defend for it, right, or, like, play around it, he's going to just get hit. I mean, I agree with that. Again, like, theoretically, I think this, I think his strategy is just ridiculously broken. You just need to execute it as a problem. I feel like it would help if Void just went for more smaller posts instead of like the long ones he usually does. I, don't, I think like, the long ones are obviously great and they're obviously meta. But sometimes you gotta play a little out of meta. You can't always do the same thing. So you gotta go back to overreliable. Mm -hmm. But he's gotta, he's gotta play up a round though, so it's 3-1. So, it's on the board, know, it's not yes. terrible. But it was an 8-4 before. The point diff is not that different from the prior set. So you gotta be kind of careful. L-shaped builds from Void. Oh yeah, see look at this, like he's waiting. Dan is like purposely waiting, now he's been covering off. Because he's Void, I have to be a little careful because not any attack will potentially be danger. Mm -hmm. But the issue is now, like with Dan's build, is that because he waits so long, they let Void build a really efficient chain. So he has to extend a lot on this three column. Yeah, that is one work. weakness. You can't you can't extend your chain on with, because you lose two of your columns as a result for the devil tower. Oh, oh no! They did not. I uh, think he was going for a counter build and then everything popped. He yeah. didn't get good pieces. And that's also another thing. You get peace reliant if you have to go for a holy counter like that, where things can just pop really easily. But hey, set lead closing feels good, good man. Yep. Look at that, the Devil Tower start again. And it did change this to long key tier this time. I see it changes to so many different key fours for Dan, it's just so hard to keep up with. And now he commits, because look at all that damage. Yep. Yeah, good recognition. Yeah, new dude. It's kind of funny because Void did get a green and yellow, but he was still missing another green. Yep, that's why I did it. He saw Void had committed. He's like, you can't do that, Void, my Devil Tower's still ready. You have to wait till late game for that. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Could have it all up there, I think. But does not go for it. Feels bad, man. Understandable. Ooh, okay. Good fix. Good fix. Look at that. That was a beautiful fix. This is it's a little even... awkward, but it's not too bad. Dan's, yeah. Dan's still fine. Oh, he's definitely fine. He's still I wait. Think... He still decide whether or not to put the reds on the column one. Okay, now he's yeah, he's oh. fixing it to main chain. Good cue. What is firing? I think he expected Dan to get popped out, but Dan got like a really lucky, I don't know, lucky three red twice. It's gonna be a ten. Forty something is pretty strong. Yeah. First no, eleven. Okay. First fifty two. So okay, so here's the thing. What? I Void is not doing a lot of mid game side chains. He is not. He has not played nearly as aggressively as he usually does. Yeah, because like if he if he did at least just side chain, he least, like he has the skill to at least immediately fix his chain and just extend, to at least be able to fight that, right? I think it goes back to what we were saying earlier, where because Dan built these tower hellfire rushes, he can't do that. He has to build full. Mm -hmm. Because he will die if he starts putting resources to a way that doesn't link his full chain. In general, I agree with you, but in that situation, Void already partially uh, threw trash on Dan. Yeah, but like you have to remember, like he's looking out for that, so he's already preempting his game plan around that. And after the one time Dan had not committed to like a Hellfire build, mm -hmm. or his boy is probably still focusing on like you know surviving. All right, this four change should probably seal it. I don't think Dan has a way to get it out of that. Yeah, he knows. He's a kick. 
Yeah. I feel like Void is just like, that's not what he's looking for right now. He's looking mm -hmm. more for just make sure my chain is ready so Big Day does not kill me. He's so denying that game plan is a little bit enough, but it's just been rough here. Gets it now. Which will force out a little bit, but Dan still has a health fire ready. I still, I still, yeah, I just still feel in general like he should at least like be able to take the risk of like throwing the main the side chain out. So at least keep making sure Dan is responding. He did here, right? Right. He hit the, the two. Which is gonna force out enough, which means he's gonna try this and like trade bass. But you can see like this just forces like neutral, which is like the best case scenario feels like for that situation. Which is fine. I think that I mean, again, I think boys mid game but is the, the best out of like best case scenario isn't always like the most frequent case scenario. Right. Great, it's really good right now. Oh, good tail though. No, Dan is winning this. Right. Like, I feel like those sections to for like to be meaningful and really far stand behind. He has to have like a four ready to be able to extend really quickly. Into right. like that large chain, but I think it's still a struggle for a lot of Western players because it's like one thing that hard that much is not like the usual. Uh huh. Let's go. Uh huh. Um, yes, yes. But it's also a mix of if you don't do it right, you're not gonna get better at it. So it really is that catch twenty two. Yeah. It slinks. Oh, it does. Oh, it powers. That's what happens. Okay. That's still good though. Mm -hmm. I think like. Considering the chain form. All the greens are gonna link, which is actually really bad because you can't get the rest of his chain. Yeah. I mean, it still gets the main. It's gonna power towards the end as always. That's enough. Oh! Oh no! no I can't get away with some CGPR twice. I wonder if it would help if we saw more of an older Void strat, which was like, its key form is higher, like the raised L shape built used to do. Uh, not with these magnitude DDR Dan's doing. He's clearly setting a rock plus every single time, right? Yeah, but like, you still get the counter chain option on the table. Mm. Like, so like holy counter, or like the two column counters. Which is like, at least another option. Right, Ooh, it, it's something in the arsenal. Come on. This that was like, cover, yeah. yeah. That was the cover his chain though, that was really bad. But Dan not build. Uh, that was the hellfire this time. So he's gonna have a lot of potential. Keep. Or oh, not. No green. He's yeah, it's just straight up no green. He also cleared something, which I think broke his chain. I think it was a red. So he's not like a red. Yellow. He didn't even replace it, but it was not fast enough. Right, here you go. So, Long Ooh, he's yeah, boy's still alive, but he's building sandwich. Okay. This is a power submarine build. Ooh. This is an interesting adaption. Because it plays similar to Devil Tower, but it's also different now. Like, we have to be able to read it. Oh gosh, that is a lot of was... boy ready. Yep. Also, there you go, the raised L shape, by the way. Kind of a little bit. Not completely raised, but like, it was there. A little different, but it, you know, it got the job done. Yeah, boy, climb back more rounds than last final or the last set. Yep, he's got claw three versus the one dance. Gonna be a little tough, though. I mean, it's void, he can't do it. Dan just opting off of the devil tower. I thought it was working so well. How the hell is this going? It's I mean, scale. you know, mentality-wise, it's maybe possible that he wants to go with something that he feels like is more likely to get him at least one round win, right? I definitely just go back to the tower then, because that was the thing that's more. You know what? You're right. No, I yeah, not the one I said. I was like, no, that's kind of stupid. And why don't you just go for the Dell Tower Strat? Yeah. Void is. Void's having a trouble. Struggle this is a own, lot though. of. Okay, it works now. Come on. Okay, there you go. Cushions all the way down. I don't know what the hell Dan's looking for. He took it for purples. But he, 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 he got needs the yellow on the ghost row. He's got the yellow on the ghost it. row, but now he needs the blue to pop. Oh no, that, that changed. Oh, the people! Okay. Oh god. Oh, oh yeah, here he goes again. I don't think it saved him. This, this cuts everywhere. That's so unfortunate. That was so bad. This time I can't tell cut was fatal. Oh, he, yeah. That's the issue when you have like the grass chain on the right side sometimes, right? Uh huh. Um, you can actually power your chain because you know you, you don't get rid of the attack. So it's technically a working chain, so it only takes one point to screw over. Right. 
Oh, he has the Ooh. Hellfire opener. Yeah. Oh, but look at Void's building the same thing. Wait a second. Get stealing. Yo, all the colors in those. She got that color bonus from. It's nowhere near enough, though. Yeah. Yeah, I Void didn't have that giant color bonus. That thorn didn't help. I don't. I don't think that thorn was actually useful. Wait, what thorn? He said the one chain afterwards. The, the Hellfire, right? I, yeah, it's like travel a bit. But just so you can get more access to the right side. That'd be my guess. But yeah, the day is so hard for a boy to win that. <laughs> because, uh, the way he's dead, the day also another all clear after that. Yeah, the second one, Lamel. Um, okay, how, how do I describe that situation? But first off, GG's to Dan. GG's to Dan. Good stuff. But back to Devil Tower Strat in A1. So good stuff. Good recognition to go back to that. But for Void, yeah, Void, Void's Hellfire is now going to be stronger because he did, he did have the fire bonus, which is like the real issue. Right. Whereas the Dan's like been really good at making sure he gets that color bonus on that opening Hellfire. It's like so crucial. So many, exactly. Like, there are so many four color, like two chain Hellfire openers for that Devil Tower. Where like Void was getting like two, only two colors, maybe three in there. Which made it like so he cannot play that early game against Dan. But good set, good tournament. Congratulations to dear Dan for winning Grand uh, Great Tuesday Rumble 9. Yeah, gonna need those points. Void does not need the points. He's already qualified, <laughs> so he can experiment however much he wants. Whereas Dan, in case something goes horribly drastically wrong, uh, we'll have the points to fall back to. I actually think that is a bonus, though, of the Advent League. You see some of these events, like with the Premier events and like the ranking events. Once you're qualified through a Premier, you don't have to care about points at all. You can experiment in every local for all you care, right? Because you're already in. You're fine. You can learn some new strats. Whereas if you're not already qualified through that qualifier, you gotta play good at almost every event. You gotta break up those points. And there's a good opportunity too, because you got PCO Heroes this weekend. You got the monthlies at the end of the month. You got GTR next two weeks. And you got the Wednesday, uh, what's it called? The Pollo for Puzzle Wednesday. Yeah. On the Wednesday, the best Wednesday. The only Wednesday I know. There's a lot of opportunities. You got like France stuff too. You got Latin America stuff too. There's a lot to play and a lot of points to gain, but if you wanted to qualify for points, you have to play in a lot of these events. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, you gotta play in almost everything. If you wanna rack up the points. For sure, for sure. I, I think yeah. like y Yoshi got like 30 points for his second place or like second place at the qualifier. And he's already caught up to by multiple people, just off locals. It's like, oh Jesus. So, I mean, that's the life though, like, you know, this this place, this event does reward being active and performing consistently well over multiple events. Yeah, I think there is the potential for some criticism talking for some where it's like, it almost, I, I think there's like a little bit too much favor to activity for I think some players' likings, but I think it's fair because we want people to play, right? It's yes. the first elite, so I think it's a good growing pain. I rather have people play more than not at all, right? Right, and and the other thing is like if you don't want to like have to go through grinding your way through events, you can win the premiere, right? XD, yeah, if you're Dan Boyd or Yoshi, usually. Well, I mean, that's just one deserve premiere. It. Wow. Exactly. Exactly right. It's like it's. I think it's a hard because I think people want to qualify, but I think a lot of people write themselves off by like I can't beat these three. But like to be fair, these three have been like, you know, what's the Harry Potter meme? Like when there's always trouble, it's always you three. And it's just like Void Dan Yoshi in the principal. That's such a weird analogy, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it is though. It is those three. Uh -huh. I, I think. It, I do think the fourth qualifier is anyone's game though. That and the last chance qualifier, because I think the top three are pretty solidified between Void Dan and Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Like if you count those three as qualify, especially if Yoshi plays. But um, then I guess I can describe from some of the that I had. We have like this tier two, kind of like phasing. I call it the 1.5, where it's like the mid-high players that actually have won events in the past and can win an event now, which would be like wow. Billy, because I think most people used to have Billy in tier one, but he's just having like such a rough year so far. But I don't, like it's been a long time since Billy won anything, right? But like most people would bank on Billy being able to win a qualifier, get the qualifier spot. I was like number yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, he has the potential, but he just needs to prove it, right? Yeah, but then it's also like KZN has been making consistent runs to top four, right? He's been able to take off some top players. Mm -hmm. You still like people like Shiro who are clearly capable of making some runs to the top cut. And I think those are like the three. And then you also have Kiku and Elio, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely also won events. Mm -hmm. So, like, anyone in that 1.5 can qualify. 
but the after those three right, there's only two more for to qualify in. But most of those players will probably qualify for in through points. But there's not enough spots at that one point. Any like the actual like material like 2.0, which I think that most people put like Anamaru OSW myself in. Like there's a chance, but it's not that big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that I think that it makes for an interesting run for Advent because anyone like, I would say like in tier 2.0 and lower has to basically get in through like last chance. It is like their most likely way in. Hmm. But that's how it is for now. Yeah, so I, we I will be signing exciting. off. Uh, QB does have a raid locked in, so we should probably be signing off right now, even. All right. Thanks to you all for uh, tuning in to Great Tuesday Rebel. I am Zyafler. He's Icy Soapy. Glad to have done this with y'all. Yeah, thanks, Kyobi, for also commentating while streaming. It was Pog. Uh, you okay, Kyobi? Yeah. All right, let, let me, let, let's get out of here and get this raid locked and loaded real quick. Oh! Good stream, good stream, good stream. Good stream. Can I still hear us? Yes. I'm, and okay, not anymore. All right, guys, let's get this raid locked and loaded real quick. What's this? Okay. Did I tap that right? I think I did. All right. So, uh, we got an unsuspecting Puyo streamer locked and loaded. They're playing with friends, but I think viewers can join too. So. Give them some love. Please be gentle. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to love each other and stay excellent, alright? I'll see you soon. Peace.